Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to show you a few different ways that you can deal with duplicates in Excel. So first of all, I have a table which I'm going to copy. So I've got two tables exactly the same. I'm just going to drag that across and use my control key to copy that. Just make it a bit bigger. So the first option is if you want to remove duplicates, there's a very quick way of doing that in Excel on the data tab. If I click over there, you've got remove duplicates and then it comes up with the columns that you've got in your table. It's picking up the headers and then you can click OK. So you can see that there's duplicate names here. There's not actually duplicate staff ID. So I could actually take that off staff ID. So names and just names I want. So I'll just leave it like that. OK. And it's got rid of those duplicates. So now there's only one of me and one of Paul Barron. So that's OK. Now, if I use this table, you can also use conditional formatting. If I go back to home and conditional formatting, one of the options that you have on the top first in the list is duplicate values. If you click on that, so you want duplicate values. Um, I need to select the table first. Select the table. Conditional formatting, highlight duplicate values, and it just does the colors there for you You've got different options there you can select but the problem with this is these figures are all duplicate and that's okay you could that's allowed it hasn't really selected what I want so it's not really ideal so what you could do is I could create what's called a helper column to decide how many I how many times that repeats for example in this list this could be an example where you've created a customer or a staff member give them an ID and later on you've created them again give them a different ID so it doesn't pick up the duplicate there because that is just a, a list that's in sequential order, which is okay. It doesn't highlight the fact that there are duplicates and it's the same name. So what you can do in this column is use the county function to count how many times that repeats in this list. So I'll just do that one in that column. So equals count if, open the bracket. So if I select that list and then lock it F4, comma and just get it to look at that cell so as i pull this down i'll close that bracket the j2 will go to j3 etc etc but the the fixed part will stay as it is if i tick that and then you can see it says two there and if i pull that down you can see where it's got the twos now what i can do over this side is create an if statement that's going to return something so equals if open bracket so if that cell is greater than one which means it must be duplicate comma one or if not i'll leave it blank so if it's greater than one one otherwise leave it blank so that says one double click that down and you can see how that works there so now what you can do is to highlight all of this so you can do the duplicates is basically highlight the table going to conditional formatting and manage rules so then if you just create new rule using a formula so this is what I'm doing here so if this cell is equal to one which means there's a duplicate and I need to take that dollar sign off so the roll number can go three four five six etc but the column can stay where it is if that's true i want this highlighting in a color let's go for this color okay okay apply that and it's done the colors for me okay to that and then you can hide these two sort of columns that help you get this result but that's now highlighted the the duplicates and not all these 46 four six sixes which were duplicate as well but um, you didn't want me to be flagged as duplicate because it wasn't the person that was duplicate. So you can either right click and hide column. I'm not a fan of that, to be honest. I like to use the outline because um, people can see the plus or minus at the top there. So if you go to the data tab, you've got group over here and you can just group and then you get that little collapsible bar with a plus. So people looking at a plus will say, what's that? And then click on it. And then you can do that for this column as well group you've got one there just just to hide those two out of the way you don't have to do that but it just tidies this up a little bit 
if you want. So that's just all I want to talk about. How to remove duplicates using the tool that's already on the data tab, remove duplicates. How to highlight duplicates and with conditional formatting with two helper columns. And then how to create a little group to hide the helper columns if you don't want to look at them. But that's all I want to talk about in this little session. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you on the next one.